example for creating reference planes. Starting with this basic part, the first thing I'm going to do is change the display settings. So I'm going to go display settings, system colors, and for this one, the scheme I want to use is white on a black, actually, sorry, I want to do black on a white background. All right, so the first example that I'm going to use is creating an ax a reference datum plane using two edges. The edges I'm going to use are this one over here and this one over here. So I'm going to come up here to select the datum plane tool. This launches the datum plane dialog box. And notice that the reference box is green, telling me that it's waiting for a selection. So I'm gonna come down here and select this edge. Notice that when my mouse gets near it to select it, it changes color and sometimes it'll also give me the name, this place being Edge F6 of Extrude 1. So I'm going to left click mouse button that selects an edge and a, da a default datum plane is shown but it's still waiting for another reference and in this case I will come over here select the edge, the second edge that I want and this um, and I'm going to hold on the control key and click with the left mouse button and that defines that datum plane. When I click OK the datum plane has a name DTM1 in this case and the plane is pre-selected uh, in case I would want to draw a sketch on it right now but for now I'm just going to click somewhere in the um, drawing space to deselect it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the model tree, I'm going to click on that datum plane, and I'm going to hide it so that I can not have a datum plane showing for the next datum plane example. The next datum plane example is just going to be a straight translation off of an existing face. So let's make the existing face this one over here. So I'll click on the datum plane tool. Again, it brings up uh, the datum plane uh, dialog box with the reference box being green. So I'll come over here and now select the entire surface. So the surface is showing up as the reference. And now if you notice that the box down here, the offset box, is now active with the translation as being the default uh, dimension. So I can come down here and grab this handle and move my plane to the approximate location that I want to put place it in. So let's say I'll just approximately make it 9.00 and I could come in here now into the translation box, highlight it and say 9.17 and hit enter to give myself an exact dimension. And once I'm happy with that, again I can click OK and as before the datum plane gets a name. In this case, it's the second datum plane I've created, so it's DTM2. And again, the plane is red, uh, indicating that it's pre-selected. And again, I will select somewhere in the <coughs> other part of the uh, window to deselect it. So again, coming over here to the model tree, I will highlight it, right-click, and hide this one as well. And now I'm going to create a third datum plane which will utilize this edge and this corresponding surface that contains that edge as the two references. So I'll come over here to my datum plane tool. I'm going to select this edge and since I've selected an edge it's going to cause a rotated datum plane thinking that I, that is the default that I might want. Now I'm going to come over here and hold down my control key and select this face. The datum plane dialog shows that there's two references and now the offset di uh, dimension is being shown as a rotation because it feels that I want to create a datum plane that is rotated about that axis and at displays some angular uh, distance from the selected face. So I can again grab on the um, the control handle and move my plane to wherever location I want on a whole circle of 360 degrees. So let me choose say 302 degrees as my approximate or 303 degrees and now I could come in here again selecting and I could give it an exact angle of say 302.3 degrees and hitting enter it puts the dimension in and now I can click OK 
to again accept that datum. And now again it's given me a name, this, in this case datum 3, and again being pre-selected so I will select somewhere in the drawing space to deselect it. Coming over here I will again uh, hide this datum plane and now I can choose one more datum. I can choose to rotate the um, choose a datum plane that goes through three specific points. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose three different vertices on this object to create my datum plane. So again I'll select the datum plane tool and I'll come over here and select vertex so that, uh, any uh, point that's being that's formed by the intersection of various planes is called a vertex. So I'll select this vertex. Holding the control key down, I will select this vertex. And finally, to fully define a plane requires three points, so I will hit the control key and select this vertex. Now notice there's no offset uh, dimension possible here because the plane is being defined by three points that go through individual uh, vertices of this object. So I'll click OK and there's our datum plane DTM4